everybody, it's Friday, so you know what that means! It's time for me to play this game, and it's old, but I guess it's new, but old is new again, and I don't know the rules day. Oh my goodness, hello, patron, thank you for supporting my insanity, and by suggesting I play a game that I've been meaning to play anyway. How very perceptive of you. Let us begin our journey back into the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Also, we are... Question, can I? No. I was going to try and cheat my way <laughs> and see if I can do it on this screen. Fine. Fine. Begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm not going to skip this. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I mean, we could. It'd be the first time I ever listened to this guy. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Are we sure it's not just a Saturday and I forgot? You know, I do that sometimes for Fan Friday. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. Well, what if I enter the door on the right? This was not <laughs> the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I knew Perhaps it was he would have stopped by the employee <laughs> lounge first, just to admire it. It is a very nice lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Mm -hmm. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is pretty good, this room. Very blue. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> mm. I love this game. Alright. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of the cargo lift, eh? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? <laughs> Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. No, nope, we're going this Let way. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh no. It's that voice. It's too... Oh? Oh? Oh, that was the door behind me. It's like... Now listen carefully, this is important. Every villain. Stanley walked through the red door. Right? 
He has that, like, you know, there's, like, the British voice, and then there's, like, the British villain voice. He clearly has the British villain voice, right? I'm not crazy here. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yes. don't let me stop you. Thank you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes. Was it worth ruining the entire story I'd yes. written out specifically for you? Yes. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work yeah. with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. That's everything I want. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. I'm here for it. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. I don't know that I want to. <laughs> what? Oh! Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now... Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more <laughs> fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's what you That's get. That's not even helpful. What am you I supposed complain to, to do me. with that? Uh, Don't complain to me. I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Worldwide leaderboard. Oh, that's what we need. Good old Neil. I don't know if I buy that. Two seconds? Two seconds? I don't know that. And then Jesse, down at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I don't want to have to look at this. <laughs> Stanley? Boo! That's me. I'm the Stanley. Mm. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Okay. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Let's do Perfect. it. Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once on, you've baby. been playing it for about four hours. Come on, baby. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Come on, baby. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Get in that fire, baby. Get in that fire, baby. You heartless bastard. Oh, Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? A little bit of because column A, a little bit of column B. I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Monkey Island? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. TIE Fighter? Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems Anything like Anything by LucasArts? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> ah, fascinating. <laughs> what do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Amazing! Hmm. 
Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the Amazing. experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Yes, let's do that. Oh my god, can I actually do the Firewatch stuff in Firewatch? This is beyond perfect. I'm gonna call up Sissy and be like, do you wanna just roleplay with me in this version of the game? Just oh, no. get her on the line. No, 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 it can't be. What you mean it can't be? It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. What? What? Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably <laughs> something with walls. Something with nice... But Firewatch is so good! Insurmountable walls. It's so good, though! <laughs> Come on! Okay. No, let I me think throw! this will be just the thing. Let me throw! <sighs> How dare they do Wonderful. this? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in How mind. How dare they do this? Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. I mean, Stanley, Rocket League is pretty impressive. Lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Can I, uh, can I score my own, can I score a goal? Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Score Let's goals. See. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown <laughs> together. Yes. I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. What? All right. Let's go! Yo! Go, 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 go. This is fun. This is very fun. Yo! Are you doing it? Hold on. What are you doing? <laughs> what was I doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I would love a flashlight. Oh, I fell again. Nope. All right. Well, we're in the back rooms now. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. This is quite bad, actually. <laughs> this is quite bad, actually. Okay, well. This should be fine. Nothing scary is going to happen here. Let's go towards the light. Ooh, actually, can we get in there? Is that my brain? Are they scanning my brain? Because it looks very active. Lots of colors. I'm pretty sure that's how brains are supposed to be. Colorful. Oh, look at that. What they look what they looking at in there? Yep, those look like uh brain charts. They're studying my brain and how powerful it is. Yep, it all checks out. That all checks out. What? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. I was very happy. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. No. I was... Someone who will wrap everything up at the end. No. Nope. To make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. I had none of that. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. What world? Oh, yes. 
Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Well, there's a villain Once right there. Ends, See what I was saying? After it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. What? That's not... I can wait. There's nothing nice about what you just said. That's villain talk, mister. That is straight villain talk. <laughs> and here we are, once more. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, fine. We'll go to the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. We'll play along. Cheese and crackers. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. These are actually uh, slides that I make everyone who works here at the office. <laughs> I make them read this all the time. Yeah. It's good advice. Right, Coming what's... to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope. Stanley walked down to the red level. He went to the parking garage. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He <laughs> considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. I he would never do that. For that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers Don't blinking mysteriously out of Don't existence in a like single this. moment for Not no like reason this. at all. None of it made any logical sense. Not like and this. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Oh! Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Oh! And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. <laughs> were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Right. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Yes. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. Yes. And it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the oh, strangest dreaming, question of obviously. all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself so Why haven't I made any attractive Why redheads? Is there a voice in my head dictating oh, I mean, yeah, that I'm one. doing and thinking. Yep. Now Valid the voice question. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. <laughs> Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Right. How else would the voice explain all that? Yeah, voice. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. 
I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella oh, woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. I mean, Everyone obviously. knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. She's got places to be. I don't blame her. The rest of her life? Oh, I'm back here! All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed right, a memo. Fine. New content? Was this always here? Did I miss this? Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? What does that mean? Where are we, where are we going? Thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I don't know about all that. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. <laughs> Why am I... Expecting okay, nothing so to be thrilling. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Where's this content mm. at? Hmm. Also, why do we go I down to go say, up? Initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. Hey, it's agreed. as if them agreed. Oh, okay. Let's Whoa. see the content. Whoa. Give me the content, Stanley. What? Alright. Alright, let's see. It's 
the jump circle? <laughs> Can you actually jump now? Oh my god. I'm doing it. I'm doing this. New content. I'm feeling it. Yeah! This is very good content. Alright, I'm kind of over it. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. We it's could have been playing Firewatch! Is this what passes for exciting new content? If These days, content, yeah. Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. <laughs> I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> this is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. Ugh, and you're don't telling get me, me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended, and I I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. That's where you do it. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Which is what now? No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Uh, what? Do we have to? Well, this is... I thought I was gonna walk into that painting. Okay, we are. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! What? I mean, you gotta trust a whisper. Whispers never lie to you. What are you trying to... What are you trying to show me? Whee! Uh-oh. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Oh, well, it yeah. got me Do thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. What? Just our little secret. Take a look. What the hell is this magical I call place? it the Memory Zone. Oh. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <laughs> you see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Oh. Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. <laughs> oh, waste. Can I peek out through here like, oh, hello? What a what a fantastic write up. Buy it now on Steam. Look at this. Get yourself a 2013 card. All right, this is slowly becoming obsessive. Begin the demo. Look at this. CDs, remember those? Kids, remember those? Nominee, nominee, nominee. <laughs> oh, I remember that part. That happened to me. Can I sit down over here and look out on the world? Look out upon a grateful world. No. 
Je suis dans la mémorisant Celles de la prive et l'eau Et je n'attends Oh, little Stanley Plus que toi, mon amour <laughs> And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? <laughs> Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the what original Stanley Sterling Parable voice. was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Ooh, but what about this? Maintenance! Come on. Maintenance! It's the perfect place to go. Person of the year. That's me! We got all the buttons here. We got... Here's another moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, I can't surprising, what and we're rewarding doing right now. choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Right behind. Uh, Maintenance? These were simpler times, Stanley. Yo! But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Yes. What's this? What's down here? Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews <laughs> from Steam, yes! the online video game distributor. Amazing. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Surely. Surely. Nope. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is perfect. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Preach is not the word uh, I would I use, always, well, but... To be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. <laughs> These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then... Then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. 
Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. And here it is. Go ahead and... <laughs> oh, you're back, you see. You um... were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. It's not unendurable by any means. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen this there. time travel? I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're re- Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Is there a way weeks. out? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same as always? Am I at the end of oh, time? Hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about ev- Don't care. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> time skip. What does that mean? Is the battery... Does the battery need changed? God, it's just as annoying as real life. There's no place to hide or go or... I can't leave. I'm stuck here forever. Well, then we might as well skip until the rocks have crumbled around me. Skip. But they didn't understand the game was <laughs> never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed it. Yeah. Yeah. Time travel, baby. Oh, it's back. Oh, thank God. The end is never 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 the it's only a matter of time before the walls crumbled around me. Yes, yes. Lovely. Look at that. Daylight. Yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Twelve thousand years later. Uh-oh. One million years later. Oh, that must be the uh, Robo T-Rexes. I know how that works. Yep, anything else out there? Only the silence. Oh, no. Robo T-Rex is still. Oh, the button fell over. <gasps> Apocalypse came and went. This is fine. Honestly, kind of prefer it. That looks like a thing over there in the distance. Surely it's not a mirage. Finally, no voices in my head, just me alone with the world. 
what little there is left of it. Time for self-reflection and introspection. A meditative state of both sound and form, one in which I am not a man, but a computer screen. I have no feet. I have no body. I only am. And that was good enough for Stanley. <laughs> well, here we are. <laughs> Oh, it's just as wild as I knew it would be. Well, that is a wonderful Fan Friday of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. It is out right now. If you've never played the original, uh, this is the original plus new stuff. And uh, it is wild and weird and wacky and super fun. And yeah, if you want to mess around with this game and really torture the narrator, I highly recommend it because it is that kind of game. All right. Thank you patron. I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.